And according to Forbes, these are the two richest black men in America. <laughs> so I just want to, I just want to say. Nah, don't, don't put that out. Don't put that out. <laughs> don't do that. Check this out, man. Always want to be back with another one, man. This is this is a special episode. This is You just look around and see what's going on in here. Uh, okay. We're working hard to get there, right? Chase B, what up, bro? Man, I feel great, bro. In New York City, back again. This is where it all happens right here, man. Look around. Man, King Midas did his thing in this room. Yeah. Lenny, break this down. Well, first of all, we're here with Dell. We're here with Lenny S. You know, two of the most important figures in this culture as it is right now, man. So, nah, I appreciate, appreciate you. Thank you, uh, you, man. Appreciate you guys pulling Thank up to the show. Thank bro. you for having, having me. me pull up to the gold room. And this is the gold room, Lenny. Break just really quickly, just break down exactly. Really where quickly, we at. um, this is the gold standard, gold yeah. room, whatever you want to call it. Mm. Um, the book will be called the gold standard. Okay. And basically, it's my office. I made it sort of like a lounge. I don't like to feel like I'm behind a desk and like meeting with people and you know feeling yeah, yeah. superior. Like we all, you know, what I'm saying I made it like I made it lounge style. Uh-huh. And I did this because really we got this glass walls and everybody could see in your office. And really, it's really that simple. I yeah, wanted. Yeah. I wonder when you walk by to be like, oh, shit, this shit look all right. Nah, really or even don't. if you thought that looked ridiculous. Right. Whatever it is, I wanted you to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, just, even just something. walking past, it really just really just shines. No, it, it really is. It, yeah. it captivates it, it's, it captivated me. So sure. it's either interesting or like, that looks crazy. Yeah, man. So you see the the, the, the photos on the wall. And then behind, yeah, it's just a, it's just a little little collage of uh, some of the photos I've taken in the, in the, in the 25 years of my yeah. career. Just a little behind the scenes. Do you remember, like, looking at these pictures, do you, like, have, like, do, like, conversations, like, just ring off in your head when you look at a certain one? So so, so that's really, that's why they're up there, right? It's like, these are some of my favorite memories behind the scenes. So, like, Obama dancing with, you know, Michelle at the inauguration. Right. You know what I'm saying? Frank Ocean writing. It's the behind the scenes. It's the dressing room. It's the birthday. It's the vacation. That's really where I'm trying to, cap. you know, capture these moments, not really... Commercial style. Yeah. I'm confused why I'm not on this I'm about to wall. say Dell's moments yo, didn't. Like, I'm, I'm looking around like, yo, yo, I know I was on this wall before. Dell, so I have a traveling one, a traveling uh-huh. couch, traveling wall yeah. that we go when we do, you know, exhibitions and seminars and shit. Uh-huh. And Dell is on that wall. Dr- Dell's on the travel travel. He's on tour. He's, he's, nah, that's you wild. don't want to be local, bro. Wow. Stop. That's man. crazy. You want to be Detroit all day? You want to <laughs> move around. Word up, man. So as you can see, these guys have a great relationship, man. Great friends <laughs> for, uh, for a long time, man. How did you guys even know each other? How did y'all start working together? Um, What's we know each that? other from our mutual friend, my brother Chris Smokes from yeah, Detroit. Detroit. And, uh, yeah. My brother. Uh, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is. But, but really, it's really super simple. Um, and I've come across Detroit. a lot of relationships like this, Chase. Like, yeah, yeah. Where somebody would be like, he literally was like, yo, you got to be my man, Dell. Y'all are the same person. Word. You gonna you gonna that's fuck with him? Yep. No, literally. And yeah, I was yeah. like, that's weird, but whatever. I'll, I'll, meet, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll meet him. And we met and we clicked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Literally, my twin. It was um from the beginning. Like Straight up. Smokes was like, "Yo, you gonna love this guy. Y'all are the same that's person." Fire. And it was like other people trying to introduce us as well. Yeah, yeah. And it just took some time, it was some years, but yeah. No, we've been, we've been locked up, in ever since. That was it. That's Business right, and personal. You know Business man? and personal, man. That's the most beautiful shit. So uh, we talked about Detroit a little bit. Obviously, Lenny, you're from here, right on here on the I'm East from the Coast. greatest city in the world. Also, where hip hop was created. Chase. Okay, here we go. Uh, you got any more <laughs> hip hop fifty? Let's get it. All, let's get it all out. Get it. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, y'all got more time, but we got hip hop. Right, right. So, just really quickly, I know you guys do interviews all the time, talking about yourselves and this and this and that. But really quickly, just for our millions of viewers out here in the Ox Money world, just break down uh, how you guys got your start in your careers. What do you do now? Just you know, the the whole spiel, real quick. I started off um, before I started StockX. um, I was a full time reseller. Okay, I was selling shoes out my trunk. I was selling shoes in different boutiques. Was a I was pulling, <laughs> I was pulling up to different sneaker cons and right. just trying to get it. And um, I value my relationships I had with mm. all of my friends that were celebrities and talent and influencers. So what I did was I would give them free shoes and make sure they post and tag me, mm. where right. all their fans and people come to me. So I built the name from that, and then I started doing a little authentication in my Instagram DMs. Oh, okay. I would tell people, like, yo, I didn't know that $25, yeah. and I'll tell you if your shoes is real or fake or not. Yeah. And I started a little buzz from that. Mm. And then 2015, by the, a guy named Dan Gilbert and yep. um, Josh Luber reached out to me, like, yo, we want to build this company, and we need you a part of it. So, really based on what you were already doing. That's yeah, crazy. based on what I was doing that's already amazing. from the from the, um, from the the DMs. Mm-hmm. And... Um, we started 2015, launched 2016, and been rocking ever since. That's that. That's crazy, Lenny. I mean, let's uh, man. I mean, um, I mean, basically, I started off uh, doing promotion, like street promotion. Yep. Um, did that. Um, then advanced over to A and R. Always wanted to A and R. Uh, started to A and R. 
Um, did a whole bunch of stuff, obviously, through Rockefeller, Bleak, a uh, bunch of J albums, et cetera, et cetera. Then uh, moved over to Def Jam. Right. Um, signed Khaled, did like a We The Best label deal. Know that, signed yeah. a whole bunch of stuff. Shot stayed, Khaled. Stayed at Def Jam for a few years. Um, and then from there, from the A&R, uh, Jay actually was like, you know, I want you to manage. You have great relationships with artists. And right. So then went into management. And then um, even from there, like just, you know, obviously making the Lenius and the Kodak Lens brand and then developing exactly. my own brand partnerships and right, deals. Right. And I'm just trying to stay current and relevant. And while I'm in it, I'm going to really be in it and I'm going to really be tapped in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what yeah. I wanted to talk to you all for real about. Obviously, you guys have your job titles with your corporations and everything that you do. But what do you guys consider yourselves outside just on a personal level? What do you guys hobbies, like main hobbies outside of work? Traveling. Yeah, I know. love traveling. I love yeah. seeing different cultures and just mm -hmm. being a part of man. What, what just else, dude? What's your real hobby? My real hobby. Monty, Monty. No, no, no. No, no. I do a lot of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love work. traveling, but um, what as favorite far as, like, place fun, that you've been and place that you want to go to? London. London is my favorite. Love I love London. London. My oh London's, my god! We tell Chase the London story. <laughs> hey, you kind of have to now. As always, we was in London. I'll make it real quick. We yeah. was in London. We was at uh, my man. You know Damson. My man yep. Dan Hell yeah, Damson's right birthday party. Um, it was a theme joint. We dressed like seventies. Yeah. Um, we leave. We um, we a little inebriated. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? A little bit. We get back. We get back to the hotel. We in the same hotel, obviously. Now I'm going to my room. I left later than him. He left before me. Oh, this story. This man is running, <laughs> this man is running down the hallway, and I'm with friends. So yeah. we walk in in the hotel. It's a long ass lobby. He's walking on the other side, and we like Dell. He looks at us like like a deer in headlights, scared, and it keeps walking straight. Yeah, he's so blasted out of his mind. What? He don't even know where he's going. He thought we were strangers. He thought we was ops. Yeah. I didn't. I was, I was this hotel. And I don't that know. I was say which hotel is, is this? Is when the edible kicked in. Oh, shit. it was an edible, and that's why I don't do edibles to this day. Bro, was that your him. first time doing that shit? Or was I think this was my nah, second time. Or was it the worst time? It was my second time, but I was, first I, time you had a blast. Yeah, blast. I'm never doing that again. Did I was happen? lost. <laughs> I didn't know where you I was get at. It from one of the from him. Oh, <laughs> him. <laughs> my dealer, my dealer right here. Right here. That's what you got out of the story. Where'd you get it from? That's crazy. I got into the hotel. I was lost. I didn't this know where was I was going at. Circles look, look, looking crazy. And then when I saw him and his friends, I was just like, act like I ain't even see yeah, them. He didn't see he us. Just on we, we went to London together. <laughs> <laughs> Supposed to leave together too. Nah, that week. was nuts. But London is my favorite tra um, city to travel to, and um, looking forward to go to. We, we of course, to to. of course. My favorite place is uh, it's probably France, um, and all throughout because I love the north, I love the south, I love Paris, I love Versailles. Nice, Monaco, like there's so many places in France that yeah, I really, yeah. really, For sure. really like. And besides that, and also Saudi. I did a trip to Saudi last year. Yeah, where, um, we just came back from them. We man, was only there for like six man. hours. Yeah, yeah, that don't yeah, count. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we stayed in Alula, Jeddah. Yeah, we, we, was, we was all over, and that, that was probably one of the best trips I ever took in my life. Yeah, I know going with Cali got to be some wild shit. Just man. go to the whole and area. They of the world. For that was there for like man. two weeks, right? No, we was there for three weeks, man. Three man, weeks in Saudi? Because we went all over. We did, we did Paris for two or three days, uh -huh. but then we went to Alula, we went to Jeddah. And Riyadh, right? Yeah, went to three different. Oh yeah, places. that Forbes shit was right. I knew yeah. I was. Uh, yeah, I know it wasn't tripping. I know. <laughs> Richest black man in America here, right here, Ox Money man. I'll tell you, honestly, this is probably one of the first conversations we've all had without blaring loud music and alcohol yeah. <laughs> around the whole shit, yeah. right? Yeah. So we got to talk a little bit about outside, right? What do y'all consider like the golden era of outside? Like what time period? Because I feel like it's different for both of y'all, and yeah. I know mine, but I'm gonna let y'all go first. It's my OG right here. Right. Um, I think 2016 was a good year to be an outside. Yeah. 2016, I just started getting some money. Mm -hmm. um, you know, uh, who, I think Drake had came out with an album. Or I feel like 2016, called, everybody dropped. Yeah, 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 yeah I think real. that was just a think, hot yeah, summer. That was like yeah, that was a hot summer. Yep, yep, yeah. yep, yep. Oh, that summer was, 16, that yeah, was, that's the whole yeah, that was Summer 16. Right. Yeah. yeah, I started to travel more, mm -hmm. got some money in my pocket. Uh, we just were starting StockX, and um, – you know, I was just moving around, networking and building yeah, yeah. my network. I think I was outside a lot 2016. That was a good year for me. Favorite era for me probably is like, um, I would say a little bit of the 90s, you know what I'm saying? Um, 90s were great, amazing. Yeah. It was more just, you know, there were no VIP really booths. I mean, there were hustlers Sick. who obviously had bottles and had Set sex. themselves but, aside. Yeah, but it really bit. just, you just really went in, you paid to get in the club, and you had a ball wherever you was at, whether you was at the bar or wherever. And then also like, the 2000s, but like 
Pharrell, cargo shorts. Oh, that, hey, like real that, army that, that, All that <laughs> outside, inside, the dressing, the, the clothes, all that. All that was crazy. Yeah. Pharrell, Pharrell was always ahead of his time. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, I think my favorite era probably like 2016, like that, that 2016 to 2018 yeah. run. Yeah. Obviously, like the up and downs of the world and the one oaks of the world and everything like that. Even like Avenue in LA and one oak in LA. Those just, two or three years before COVID was, was beautiful. Pretty much perfect when beautiful. it came to outside. What do y'all think is missing from it right now? I know Lenny you throw a lot of parties, the Halloween party and everything <laughs> like that, but. Um, what could uh, what could the streets use as far as entertainment goes right now? I just think is uh people are more concerned with like looking good and yeah maybe even feeling good as opposed to like having a great time. Yeah. Whereas like they just letting everything down, letting mm-hmm. their phone down, really dancing, really you know what I'm saying, yeah. and really dancing. Like we know how to, we know how to party. Right. You know what I'm saying. Right. So right. we we have a good time whether we Where laughing, we and joking, drinking, but we go till the sun comes up. Mm-hmm. Like we but we really just let go. You know what I'm saying. We yeah, have yeah. cameras all. So I think that I think letting go and kind of like really just dancing and shit like that. I think people be too concerned with social media. Yeah, it's all optics now. It's really it makes. I mean, I, I think I seen a chick on live at the concert yesterday. I was yeah. like, yo, like enjoy the show. Yeah, like, why are you it's on like, live? Who's really just watching? <laughs> yeah, I, I always make the comparison when people record fireworks. It's like yeah. you gonna show this to me. <laughs> You gonna show this to me later? <laughs> like, yeah, I, I was supposed I to sit there and be like, I hate when people do that. Yeah, oh, I, I hate it. Because I, you know, like you, you start to do it, and I film fireworks and be like, <laughs> what? who really wants to watch eighteen <laughs> seconds? Of this? <laughs> no, no, I really ask myself those questions, like, and that's what makes me like not post shit or uh, do three seconds yeah. instead. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, I, I yeah. think everybody be so concerned with social media and just like a perception, and yeah. you know, certain cities like a flex. It's like, all right, who got who got the most bottles? Who got the most girls in a in a section? Yeah, yeah. Instead of just Damn. dancing. And then just land. <laughs> <laughs> I just love giving it up to my brother. Yeah, he, said he be he be he be right with me. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny as up, no, What's, you, what's you the last party that y'all like? What's the last memorable joint that y'all like? All right, I, nobody could have missed this one. This is like a really a, a, just a great time that we went to, together, or just in, yeah, in general. For me, it was um damn Chase. I don't think he was there. In 2019, uh, right before COVID happened, we threw, you know, I do the ugly Christmas sweater party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we did one in LA at yeah, the man. crib. And when I tell you, God bless, Pop Smoke was there, performed. Megan Thee Stallion was there, performed. Meek performed. Puff performed. Trey Song. I'm talking about, there was 15 celebrities at the crib. At least 13 of them did a song. Yeah. I mean, this is all unplanned. Exactly. This is yeah, all yeah. crazy. And by the way. love the sport. There was people that was home at three in the morning that was hearing about it was like getting up and coming, but it was crazy, crazy, crazy. I I think mine was, um, it was um, a screening. Was it in London or LA? It was the harder they fall. Harder they fall. The harder they fall. What What is that called? That segment where everybody like doing like a karaoke. What is oh, that called? Oh, they did. Well, they did like a jam session. Jam okay, session. Yeah. So you know James Samuels, who who directs the movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's also a writer, producer, musician. Mm-hmm. He's Seals' brother. Great musician. He does jam <clears throat> sessions when he puts out stuff. So yeah, like, he did yeah. the movie, and then we did a jam set. Like even Jay got up. Jay oh, got up. Yeah, Jay, yeah, Jay nah. got on the stage. Yeah. I was like. <sighs> it, it, it was a it was a moment he he, he forgot his lyrics and I'm trying to yell it to him like yo <laughs> he coaching his through his own song I don't remember that <laughs> yo remember I, <laughs> no um I think crazy. um I think it was, was the hardest party yeah it was a great party that was right. one of the best parties I've been to yeah. that's amazing that's wild so check this out man a lot of times I like to just go out just because obviously DJing all the goddamn time you don't really get time to sit back and just enjoy the music enjoy the vibe really don't get to even politic too much right. So that's my life as a DJ. So for now, I'm gonna make y'all two niggas the DJ, right? Yeah. I'm gonna give y'all some scenarios. Let's do y'all it. were DJing these parties. So I used to DJ to back for? in the day too. Oh, you did? What's back in the day? How like long ago? Fifth grade, sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, what was your fifth grade DJ name? My name was DJ Massacre. On my life, what fifth grade. Was you killing? <laughs> what were you, <laughs> you killing? What were you killing, bro? I had the inspiration from watching Juice and uh, Q, <laughs> and the name of the party was called Massacre. Oh my god. I had I got my turntables for my fifth grade Christmas. I thought I was a DJ. Fifth grade to Oh, like, fifth grade. You said five, I think you said five fifth grade all the way so. to junior year in high school. I was a DJ. I was doing like Okay, too, okay. I was about to say I was I was, I was, I was nice. a fifth grade DJ. No, no, no. I was, yeah, so I was like, <laughs> nah, that was crazy. Fifth nah, grade was is nice. no DJ. I was nice. I was like I like to mix songs together, you know what I'm saying? That's that was dope. Like, I DJ too, by the way. Yeah. Fake DJ, but No, like, you did a tour. I did no, 3 years. Don't try. Oh yeah, so oh yeah, we I DJ for J for 3 years. Um, but but again, I was using the um, the machine, the uh, yeah. playback machine. Yeah, yeah. What was, was your DJ I, I name? Dude, that. that was shit. Lenny S. That was your DJ name? <laughs> yeah, man. 
Go watch some old clips. I gotta watch. I, I gotta watch that. that for real. Yeah, we was we was we was driving OG it. Chase being it up there. That's why. You know my favorite Lenny S clip, man. I remember watching the Fade <laughs> to Black uh, documentary, and you sitting on the on the jet, and he's like, "Yeah, we sitting here waiting on this <laughs> hole, man." He's like, "You know, rappers love to be late," and I'm sitting there like, "Bro, I be waiting on this." Trap for days at a time, <laughs> literally days at a time By on this way. plane. Just like, bro, is this nigga even coming? I can't complain because you know, Jay, I mean, you know, yeah, he doesn't go to By the way, Jay's very punctual. I ain't gonna lie to you, but you know, once you, he is the we there for him, he be there for so him, you can be as late as you want, but like, wait for travel is different. Like, wait for Jay's like two or three hours, wait for travel be like three days. It might be, it might be three days, bro. <laughs> it might be three days. Just get your own flight at that point, bro. You got a lot of patience. Oh you know, for real. DJ scenarios. Yeah, DJ scenarios, man. DJ Massacre, I'm going to ask you first. Yeah, bro. let's do it. I'm ready. First scenario is is if a fight break out in the function, would you play a song? And what song would you either stop the fight or egg on the fight and keep it going? Damn. Um, I'll stop the f- No, no, no. I'm going to let it keep going. Yeah. Knuck if you buck. That's some Detroit oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Knuck if you buck, I'm gonna keep the fight going. <laughs> Cause it's yeah. DJ Massacre, it's yeah, all Massacre. I'm gonna play um the Biggie joint, the old joint. Um with they party and bullshit. Party and bullshit. Okay. Oh. But just that that part. Yeah. Like, yo, 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 man, yo, chill, man, yeah, yeah. chill. The little interlude part. That part. That's chill. fire. I'll fuck with that. One. All right. So check this out. You have to take a wild piss, right? You've been you have about seven <laughs> you have about seven eight this. tequilas. It's, hey, it's a scenario that I'm in quite often, to be honest. You about seven, eight tequilas straight, and you gotta just, you gotta go. Like, you know why I'm afraid of this moment. question? Because Dell, I know Dell well. Dell's gonna take the Casamigos bottle and piss in the Casamigos <laughs> no, bottle right why, there, yo. and it's already reposado. It's gonna be that's not gonna in the be section. Good. <laughs> you want? That's not gonna be good. <laughs> that's the wrong type of spike. <laughs> in the section. That was sick. Like you saw that, me bro. do that before. <laughs> Nah, that's wild out here. I mean, I mean, sorry, bottle of low That was crazy. Right? Wow. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Come on. No, you can't Get your brand up, bro. Right. <laughs> nah, real, for real, Lobos. But, um, but yeah, you about seven, eight tequilas in, you got to go, and you need a song that's going to last you about maybe four or five minutes straight. No transition. Four or five minutes straight, you need a song. What would you play? Um, I would probably play the Benjamins. Oh, I just, yeah. I just, think, I just think it's a classic beat, mm-hmm. classic song. All, even when you get all the way to the end, yeah. Kim and Kim and Big still bring its song back up. So exactly. you don't, you don't yeah, lose the like, momentum. There's like six, seven verses on yeah, that. Yeah, you song. don't lose the momentum. Right, so that's right. what I'm playing. That's a good one. Good, good luck. One. Damn. <laughs> DJ Battle, Nick. Uh, play a Motown record, bro. It got to be a long song. Let me see. Um, a good one. Yeah, a good one. And we in the club? We in the club. Damn. Um, you really DJ? Yeah, I DJ. I DJ. That's a good one. Damn, I can't even think right now. Yeah, it's Chase B. The question's unfair. He knows. He knows. Uh, these are very specific scenarios. I'm playing with um, that new Metro Future and um, the Don Tolliver on that one. It's like uh, it's like four different verses on there. Yeah, that is a long song. Um, not Metro Spider. Is that Metro Spider? Mm. Or can't save him in a lo- one of them. One yeah. of them longs got like four verses on there. I'm yeah, playing that one. That's a good one. Good one. Good one. And uh, all right, you fuck up terribly. You're damn near getting booed at this point. It's, it's real bad. The fucking, somebody kicked. A, a, a girl spilled a, a, a glass on a, on a electrical cords and all that. Party's over with. Lights is off. And now everything's back on right now. You got to play a song to revive the whole shit. Oh. What would you play? I'm going with Sexy Red. <laughs> it's just straight like I'm that. I'm going with Sexy Red. She, oh. she on Which one? fire right now. I'm going to go with um Looking for the Hoes. Looking for the Hoes. Yeah. Looking for the hoe. I'm going diff for it, one diff it, diff it, diff it. Diff it, diff it. Everybody gonna run back. Song match everybody run it back. My man's consistent. That's crazy. Everybody running back for that. <laughs> uh, mine's is one out of three. Can I pick one? Like yeah, one yeah, for sure. Three. Let's do it. Um, Meek Mill, the intro. All right. Um, intro, um, Jay's PSA. Doom, doom, doom. Oh, yeah, dramatic. Need to reintroduce. Mm-hmm. <laughs> dramatic. Or, uh, shit, anything, Drake. Or, or actually, Drake and Cole. Uh, first, first what? Yeah, 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 that's fire. That's shit. That's, that's, that's real fire. anthem shit. I feel, I feel those answers. What would you play in that? What would I play in that scenario? Yeah. Um, right now, it would definitely be something dramatic, something that works every time. I like to come in with like weird ass, like, like I'll play some shit like the sample to, like the sample to the Dano remix, right? With like Shotty Low and all them, right? Mm-hmm. It's like some whole, it sounds like a marching band, it sounds like some HBCU mm-hmm. step show shit going on for like two minutes. 
And then right when you think you annoyed at this shit, it goes into the turn, 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 and he's just coming to it, and it's like, all right, yeah, that's whatever I did before this doesn't even matter no more. Because by the way, one of Jeezy's best verses ever, 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 ever. And one of the beats, best beats ever, just all that. DJ, y'all can have that one too, man. If y'all just need to, if y'all need to pick me up or something in the club. See, I see, that's why I can't DJ no more because I wouldn't even thought of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. what? It's, yeah, so that's, that's that Jeezy verse is equivalent to the Wale verse on No Hands. Like you know, some rappers just right, got right. verses. You got it. Oh my god. Exactly. So check this out. Next one, bro. Mm-hmm. I know, uh, Lenny, your answer might be on the record, but I'm not sure if yours is on the record, right? What up? We got to be, we in, we at Rock Nation, bro. We got to talk about this. Top five Jay-Z albums. Oh. oh. Five. 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 Um, in order? No, uh, no, no order. The order makes it too, too much of a thing. Um, well, for me, Reasonable Doubt, um, Blueprint, Black Album, Watch the Throne, and Sheesh. it's between. Damn, watch the throw. Um, as the best? Yeah. I, mean, I, I think. I, no, you surprised me. That's why I, I, I wouldn't. It's one of the best albums that. ever made. No, it is. But people I, really don't. And that. and definitely the one of the best duo albums. Yeah. Ever. Sure. Not a group that existed. Not like an Outkast or a Run DMC. Those are groups, duo like two people, two different artists, solo artists getting right. together and making a project. That's one of the best yeah, nah, duo. Yeah, easily in my top five. Um, and then but the last one would be between. Um, 444 four, four and American Gangster. Right. Rock Black Gangster. Album, Blueprint, mm-hmm. American Gangster, 444. Four, four. Can I say um, the S. Dot Curl? The mixtape? The mixtape. Uh, the, raps was, the, raps was, the raps was there. This man rapped on Pump It Up. No, no, no. no. Jay it went, was nuts, crazy. Man. He went nuts on that whole He went mixtape. crazy on that whole. That's amazing. Yeah. Also, because Jay rapped on that B2K joint was nuts. He rapped on he that? He rapped on that? On a B2K joint. Oh, man. I did not know that. I did not nah, know that. What song is that? All right. Yeah, that never came out now. Yeah, he did rap oh, on that. Oh, that is. Oh, he bodied this. He did. No, he bodied this. That was one of my, one of my favorite mixtapes. No, he went crazy on this. He did rap on that. That's nuts. Yeah, this is a mixtape for a sneaker. For a sneaker, it was just crazy. Sneaker. I still got mine too. Time. Ironically, I'm just the only one without some Travs on. It's all good. Uh, I did bad. I did bad today. <laughs> good. Man. You got, by the way, my favorite silhouette ever. The three. That one. That three. That color. That. Yeah. OG. Yeah. That's my favorite sneaker this in the world. This is why me and best friends. This is my shoe no. right here. It's my favorite shoe in the you world. Know, I only DJ in threes. Like at clubs, for some reason, I only DJ in threes. Like I'll go home and change before I don't. Yeah, I don't know what it is. It's just some about like the height and the comfort and like the best sneaker makes your ever posture made. a little better. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Today, look today, that sneaker is still the best sneaker. That sneaker came out in 1988. Exactly. That sneaker is still Free throw line, the whole story. You know, you know how it goes, man. Jump, man. You know how it goes. Uh, speaking of sneakers, man, you know, uh, like I said, Forbes, you guys are the most <laughs> affluent guys ever. Uh, let me ask y'all because. I know y'all are bougie and shit. So do, do y'all even? <laughs> <laughs> you know that he had to loud. You know that <laughs> y'all, y'all bougie. Yeah, you know y'all bougie and shit. Do y'all even go to basketball games now? If, y- if y'all not courtside, do you? Do you still even go? Yo, you sound crazy. He's not going for sure. I'm, I'm, that's a serious question. He ain't going. That's a serious. You're question. not going. God. Come on. I will. Let's, by the way, he knows me. I will sit in row 168. I'll stand online, Chase. I stand on lines to get in places. You gonna lie? Yes. <laughs> By the way, when I say course, course I, I'm using J tickets or some. It's not like understandable. Not like, I ain't gonna lie. Basketball. If I ain't course I, I'm not going. I'm not going. <laughs> I'm not going. See, I'm, I'm, I definitely go to sweet. Any other yeah. sport? I go to sweet. Any other yeah. sport? I'm cool, but course I. Yeah, so maybe basketball. sweet. Maybe sweet. Maybe yeah. Sweet. No, nah. sweet for sure. Yeah. I know you're not sitting in row 38. I know that, but a sweet. Cause a lot of companies have suites and they invite you out and yeah. you know, it's a little vibe. Right, right. Basketball is different. I'm, I'm, I need to be right, be right there. Right. So you we was at the Pistons game last week talking <laughs> crazy <laughs> shit. This shit be funny. Hey, we, we was going nuts. <laughs> we was going I crazy. lost a lot of money that game, betting. And the, the second part of that question is: All right, say you have courtside tickets to to the game tonight or whenever, but you don't got a fit. Are you still gonna go? I've definitely not gone places cause because of the fit. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. If I ain't got no fit, you like, like you just you scrambling like you look at your suitcase like you wore all that shit already. You took pictures and everything already. You, Do I got time to go to the store? No. Yeah, I ain't going. I, I can't go. Yeah, nah, I can't go. Yeah, Not course side. Right. There's too many eyes. Right. For real. They went, yeah, that's, the, that's fit, the guy that work at Stuck Eggs? Or, or <laughs> <line>? <laughs> 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 With them shits on. Nah, I ain't doing it. Yeah. This man got on 
You can suck a dick right now. I feel like a. No <laughs> way. No way. That's <laughs> no way you wearing no, those. No, no, that no, way. <laughs> no way you wearing them general releases. No. <laughs> No, nah, I ain't doing that. Still I won't on the go. Show. I had to get them tickets away. Yeah. Word up, man. Nah, that's just a, that's yeah, a crazy question. question for me, that's a crazy question. For real. That's a really I made it question. It's very, I made this question. <laughs> man. You know, I, I asked the right people. You know, how many this how many this guy is? I'm a regular person. Y'all are actually both <laughs> more bougie than me. Nah. Lenny, your room is gold. <laughs> 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 Look at the man ruler. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Your entire room is gold. These couches are gold. Yeah, but it's just a color, bro. It's not like a. It's just a color. Yeah, it's not gray. I just, <laughs> I just like things to pop. That's all. I feel you. I feel you. So check this out, man. Before we get up out of here, we always do this with all of our guests here on the Ox Money couch. Well, right now it's Lenny's couch. So, but on the Ox Money show, uh, to put us on the three different things, right? It could be a book, food, restaurant, a philosophy, an idea. A person, it could be whatever, but three different things. Mm. New book I just picked up, Rich Paul. Mm. Yeah, um, shout out, Rich. <laughs> you, you gotta be quicker than that. You gotta be quicker than that. <laughs> um, two new restaurants in Detroit, Checkmate and District 78. So if you ever visit Detroit, mm. go visit those two restaurants. Damn, <laughs> I ain't gotta. <laughs> you want me to go? No, nah, you go. <laughs> um, a new book I just picked up, uh, Bruce Talaman. He's a, okay. He's a photographer. Um, from the, I mean, still alive, still great, thriving, but um, he shot a lot, uh, 70s, 80s, obviously, and, and, and beyond. Mm. But like, he was shooting like Marvin Gaye right. in, the, in the forum, like at a show backstage, getting ready. Those like, moments, you know, yeah. Like, like those moments, mm. moments, moments. Like just everybody of that time, OJs, all those things. So I thought that was. Bruce Talliman? Cool. Yeah, Bruce Talliman. Um, so that um, restaurant. I would say there's a new ZZ's in New York, which Crazy. is part of the Mario Carbone's mm -hmm. uh, restaurant group. Uh, super dope right there at Hudson Yards. Super sexy. Crazy. Uh, membership, but, but but super dope. Bougie. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, um, membership. And, um, and put you on, like what I said earlier, um, um, Saudi. Try to visit, visit Saudi. It's, it's one mm -hmm. of the most beautiful places in the world. Um, I don't know why I didn't think it was like that, but going there and, Touching the land and touching the people and beautiful people, beautiful place, and just like m sexy, exotic. Kanye was there recently. Them pictures of Kanye right, right, sitting yep. out by yeah, that he was, fire yeah, he pit. He posted the whole studio that was and everything. One of the places I stayed. Okay, where? Um, we went there a year and a half ago. Crazy. Um, but again, Alula, Jeddah, Riyadh, all, mm -hmm. you know, all the places in Saudi, gorgeous. Please, if you hospitality's can. crazy. They're gonna oh, treat you. It's yeah, unbelievable. That's yeah, amazing, yeah. man. Dell, Lenny, appreciate you having me pull up, bro. No, I appreciate this is you, bro. Legendary. Thanks for having so, me. So this is Thanks. this is beautiful, man. Black boy joy. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.